In the shadowy sunlit forest, I confronted many glades. Venturing forward, I brushed harshly past some bushes, and arrestingly they caught my arms. I had not expected such severe scratches or piercings. Instinctively, I grabbed at the green leaves of some plant that they might serve as an anodyne for relief. They could have been the leaves of weeds, yet in that sightless pain and panic, their coolness healed, and I proceeded on the greenest grasses of an untrodden way which led blindly deeper into the forest. A shallow patch of mud was deeper than I believed. Underfoot it brought a slip, thoughts as erratic as the wind, and then panic. It took all I had to keep balance, arms reaching out to keep my weight even. There was no clearness of thought, all logic disappearing in the hundred babbles of the nearby brook. Mercifully, my fall was broken by the grasses underneath. What fool would not have checked his steps? I would have turned left or right for safer terrain, but the voice leading me on, kept in tune as if by some invisible force, able to bring a final silence to the heart, for the sights it led me to were beautiful. Yellow daffodils nodding in a breeze, approving, almost guiding my feet. Snowdrops bowing in cool modesty, alighting the way to the seduction of the bluebells ahead. The green moss carpeted the contented rocks and stones. They were too wise to move, having found an eternal resting place. I could hear the sound of birds that had made their nests, telling as much to any creature that would listen. They had found their homes. Nothing is perceived with greater clarity in nature's voices than the tuning it brings to the mind. This was a paradise lost to the men of the world. Turning around, I looked back. Amongst thorns, slippery mud and broken grasses, I had walked a straight path. Turning again and then onward, in dazzling splendour, the sun shone brightly upon a sudden mountain. It was casting a rich shadow, as if receiving a blessing from God. It looked strong and firm in his love. I realised for the first time ever how black it can seem when we walk so closely beside the Lord. Anything truly great will cause darkness, be it of simple earth or the powerful complex love from heaven. The more solid a love is, the deeper will its shadow be.